And here we go. We're going to launch him in three, two. Going to drag it out. One. Yeah! Go, you beast! I'll <laughs> see you, nerd! Wee! G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and I am mucking around with a trebuchet design concept that I have been suggested and collaborated, I guess, with my old design. Um, Captain Corden, a guy who's actually mentioned a few really awesome ideas to me and I think I've mentioned him in the past. Um, thank you so much for your suggestion. Now, if you remember last time, I made that little bouncy... You know, the little bouncy thing? We did this, I'll show you. If you didn't catch it, this is what it was. Right? Pretty much. Using this, so... We've got a bearing, a... What's this thing? Controller? And a beam like this. And all I did was... That didn't work, did it? Stand here. Okay, that's not working at all. How I figured it out was I was building the back of my trailer, right? And I had to pretty much do a platform like this, and I was standing on it. And I hooked this up here, and wee! And it really shot me pretty high up in the air. Um, and I asked for suggestions on what you thought that I could do with the design. And Captain Corden said, Hey, why don't you build a trebuchet? So I was like, Man, that's a wicked idea. No one's really done anything using that mechanic that I know of. Uh, and this is the design I've come up with. This is kind of self-reloading, sort of. Um, and pretty much how it works is, this is the bearing here that we connect up to kick stuff out of the basket. This is the basket here. Um, I've been using electric engines as the projectile. Look, you can see that down there, man. Oh my, it's so good. It works really, really well. So we chuck an electric engine on there, right? Simple as, delete those three blocks and it's sitting there. It's nice and loose. It's connected to this one beam on the side here, as well as this guy on the bearing there. All right, and then I have this here is like um, the trigger mechanism, I guess you could say. Uh, more, uh, it's more like a cocking mechanism. So you're cocking like a, a weapon, like a, a pistol. Um, you cock your pistol when you, you sort of pull it back in a position as to where you're about to fire. And there's two buttons. There's, it's kind of... Uh, I mean, it's not automated. It's not streamlined as yet. But I think it works fairly well. So the first connection will activate this bearing, okay? And then that is pretty much setting it to a point right there where it's like parallel, okay? And then on the end here, you can see there's this little pin. Um, and what I've got that set to basically is 90 degrees. All right, and it's on a continuous loop, so it'll it'll loop around. And what it does is actually lifts it up. So we have to hook this. We turn this on, and what it will do is it'll drop this, and it'll swing. And generally, I'll wait till it hits about there. And that's when I'll connect it to a connector, and we'll have liftoff. So hopefully this works the first time, because it's not perfect. There's a little bit of a trick to it, but I think I've got it pretty much figured out. So we'll click this on. You can see that pin is now firing. And are you ready? So we'll let it swing once. And then once it gets to like there, where did that go? Interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I didn't really get it working in the first time. Um, I'm going to have to just wait until this guy comes back around. We've got to turn this off because it's going to continue rotating. We'll put this back into the neutral position. All right, we'll let this swing all the way around. So that it's kind of grabbing the, the swing arm again while it does that. Actually, no, we better wait for it. Um, because it's kind of tricky. Like that. I could probably figure out a way to make that a little bit easier. Um, and have this sort of swing out and in maybe. Um, I don't know. I could probably put, yeah, I could easily put, put something else there. But for now, this will do. So let's pop this in here. All right, that's down like that. Okay, so we first of all, we activate the lift. And the trebuchet is ready. 
We will activate this. And then we need to wait for the right moment. Let it drop. And then... <laughs> wow, that goes so high too. Alright, we can do better. Oh, it fell through the earth. See ya, buddy. Goodbye. Um, I don't think this is going to work. Put you down. And then put this over here. We're going to have to activate this again. Let it swing all the way around. I really want to get like a good... A good one. Because, um, like, it literally... You see that tree there? It can, it can go that far. And it'd be good if I could get this, like, to a T. Um, automated so that everything works just just fine. Maybe if I... Uh, what, what, I don't know. I'll have to do a lot of experimentation. And I think that... Um, probably going to have to leave it for the next video. We'll see. Uh, I didn't even put... Didn't put in a, One of these things. I need the projectile in there. Hey, calm down, buddy. Oh, I need to turn that on too. Get out of there. Oh, wait. No, I don't. You peanut. Absolute peanut. Typical peanutery going on. Hey. That's not right. We'll have to fix that up. We'll redo the projectile. Um... I tried a couple of other designs, which I'll talk about in a little bit as well, that didn't work. Uh, let's go, you, you, you. And then, boop. This needs to be level, like that. There we go. Nice. So, hook you up. Get our connect tool out. Turn on the firing pin. And then we just have to hope that this will work. Oh, man. You know what? I did it like multiple times successfully on off camera and as soon as I start recording I knew this would happen dude I knew it so, so you need, need to bear with me please it, it does work you saw it fly up in the air we could we can do better we have the technology we'll turn this on get you into a nice and sweet little position like that and uh, uh, put down another one and then ah, nice okay so connect tool this one that one goes hook you up all right we've got to hold this come on you can do it <laughs> look at it go holy crap that thing fires so well all right we'll turn this off go back to there I want to do it again. Let's see if we can get this working again. Um, put you down there. Turn that on. It's actually, like, I could get it firing pretty consistently. I mean, a trebuchet... Oh, crap, Ola. A trebuchet, a real one, doesn't really, like, reload super quickly. So you have to, you know, spend a bit of time mucking around, doing all the reloading of the rocks and reloading of all the... The weight and whatnot. Um, and I guess this really isn't a trebuchet as such. Because a trebuchet actually uses a counterweight to project the other one up into the air. Uh, so you'll have like, that's where your projectile is. And then on this end will be a very short piece of, um, you know, uh, beam or the main section. And then you'll have a real heavy rock, which will then pew, shoot something into the air. But uh, this is... This is scrap mechanic, and, you know, physics aren't really 100%. Um, God, you're a peanut. I didn't even load up an engine. Uh, let's let's just do this. Get you down here. Turn that on. And once it gets past, like, the 45 mark, no. We can then turn it on. Sweet. Let's actually load up a projectile this time. Our projectiles being the most awesome electric engines in the world um yeah so we're good to go get this fella on here leave it sit and then so we're gonna let it swing once twice oh went back the other way that time <laughs> oh we can do better than that one more time come on um Oh, raspberries. We'll uh, disconnect this. So it's very important. Okay, I'll show you how to build this, actually. 
or how to get the the mechanism working in a sense that you know where to have the positioning it's not overly difficult but there is a little bit of a trick to it so um and like i haven't even experimented with bigger bigger sections this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is only an eleven block catapult, I guess, trebuchet or swing arm. I guess probably easier to call it that. Um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't actually make our projectile fly. All right, are you ready? Archers, well, actually, it's not archers, it's trebuchets. We're gonna just say loose, because that's what they do, right? In the in the movies, they say loose, and then you sort of let it go. And I'm watching too much Game of Thrones. Oh crap! Even this works here, like that. Um, it's not too. All right, see ya. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, that needs to go back around here. Look, I'll show you what I mean when I actually get this down into the right position. We kind of need to stop this, actually. I can just quite easily put you there. All right. So we'll put in our four blocks. Put you there. Like that. And then it's just a matter of doing this. <laughs> and you can get all sorts of stuff. That's a very much, very much a consistent. Um, uh, uh, stop, stop. A very consistent. What would you call that? Like a... Trajectory? Yeah, consistent trajectory. That makes sense. I wonder if maybe it'd be easier if I just turn this on the side. Uh, we'll see. Did that fall through the earth? No, it didn't. You're there. I don't know. We'll try it. But see if I put... Mm, it's, oh, it's just... I'm thinking about how I could do it. The issue would be loading it up here. Yeah, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work at all. Uh, what I I tried as well, right, is hooking this up. If I can grab this really quickly. Stop! Stop. Stop. Here. Okay, so that is definitely... What? Uh, we'll have to just do that. Uh, what I thought about even was, was mucking around with this. And you could have... Maybe this will work, actually. If I... Yes. It slides in. Let's try that. Maybe it'll it'll create a different trajectory. Yeah, it doesn't quite... It kind of hooks up to it too much. Um, drop you down. What if I remove, like, the front end of it? Okay. And then we did this. And then all I have to do is hook this up. Yeah, it kind of doesn't really do as well. I'm going to try it one more time just to show you how it did it and because it's super fun to do. Um, get rid of that. So it's very important when you do... Like, I'm not going to actually... I've decided against going in and creating the whole thing step by step until I maybe... Next episode, we might make a trepeget with it's on wheels and I'll muck around with this a little bit tomorrow actually in a few hours right after this video i might stream and i say might with the most mightiest of mites because i might wake up in the morning i'm using that word a lot and i may i'm gonna change it up may feel not up to the task of doing a stream but i think it could be fun if we if we had a stream and we made a trebuchet then i did a video on it i'll see i'll see i have a twitch and I'll do like an announcement video when I do it. So it'll probably be like five hours after this video goes live. I, 
I'll try my hardest. I'm like 80% sure I can do a stream. It's not only like whether I feel like it. It's also if I don't have anything pop up. But let's let's do this. You go there, mate. Up you go. Sweet. We'll activate the firing mechanism. And here we go. We're going to launch it in three, two. Go drag it out. One. Yeah! Go, you beast! I'll <laughs> see you, nerd! Whee! Off to oblivion. Goodbye, engine. I hardly knew thee. Oh, well, that's it for this episode, guys. I know it's um a bit of a short one and not much in it, but tomorrow I think we're going to do a stream. We are 80% certain that we're going to do a stream. <laughs> we're going to work on the trebuchet, and I hope you can join me there. It's Twitch dot tv slash menace underscore tv because none of my urls are consistent i apologize for that um yeah i'll see you there tomorrow hopefully let me know what you think about the trebuchet do you have any ideas if you do try and make it to the stream and then we could like talk about talk about it all It'd be good fun i wonder like where those engines go i've had a switch fall through the world once and it came back up through the top of the world but oh well <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys please hit that thumbs up button it really does help me with my videos i'd like to thank you all for watching this far i'll see you all in the next video goodbye